Hi there, welcome to another Tormont Cat podcast. I am Brian Davis, the Construction Solutions Manager here at Tormont. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about some best practices when loading trucks with an excavator. Whether it be an on-highway truck or an off-highway truck, an ADT, it uh, doesn't matter what kind of truck you're using, but these are kind of some of the best practices to keep in mind to make sure you're running an efficient operation and getting the most out of that excavator. First thing that uh, I want to talk about, and it always amazes me when I go on sites and I see operators doing this uh, the wrong way, but you always want to make sure you're loading over the front of the machine, and that's over the idlers. Never, ever load an excavator over the, the back of the machine, over the sprockets. You're putting a lot of shock load into that machine. You are loading over the, uh, over the sprockets. is going to you know, reduce your undercarriage wear. It's going to put more stress on the bushings on the undercarriage. And also, if you ever were to hook into the track with the bucket, which, yes, it does happen once in a while, you got a lot more money invested in the back of that machine where the final drives are than you do out front where you just got an idler. So keep that in mind. Always load over the front. And also, try to avoid loading over the side of the machine if possible. Uh, there are some applications like ditch cleaning and stuff where you have to go over the side. But try and limit that because obviously as you're going over the side of the machine, it makes it a lot tippier. You uh, lose some of the stability, and you're also putting a lot of side load, shock load into those undercarriages by doing so. So load over the front is number one tip. Second tip, try and always swing to the left when you're loading into a truck so that the operator can always see where they're going to be placing their bucket as they go into the truck. There's no surprises. If you're swinging to the right, to the blind side, that's when you can get yourself into trouble. Always better to go to the right when you're returning to dig or returning to the trench. There's a lot less obstacles down there. Uh, try and load from an elevated platform whenever this is possible. It gives you a better view into the back of the truck. Uh, obviously bench loading is ideal and we'll talk about that a little bit in a minute, but if you're doing some same level loading into a truck, try and create yourself a little bit of a platform to sit on. Just a little bit makes a big difference. If you can lift that machine up two, two feet, a meter, it's going to make a really big difference for the operator, give them much better, better visibility to get into the truck. And it's also going to make that machine much more efficient. It minimizes the, uh, the amount that the machine has to move. Uh, another point, and I see this time again, believe it or not, never swing a loaded bucket or an unloaded bucket for that matter over the top of a truck cab. Uh, obvious dangers can be falling objects, can go through the windshield, could hit an operator. You could hit the cab with the, with the bucket. That can happen, guys. So never ever swing over the top of a truck cab. Always swing in over the side rail of the box or through the rear, t rear tailgate. One of the biggest tips you can get, minimize the amount of swing required to complete a cycle. Okay, that's from going from digging to dumping into the truck and back again to the dig cycle. You want to keep it less than 45 degrees if you can. Less is better in that respect. Brian, Jim, Jim here. Yep. Can't you get it less than, like, I'm talking 15, 20 degrees, get it real tight if possible? That's optimal, and that can happen, absolutely, but it's not always going to happen. So if you can try and maintain 45 degrees or less, yeah, you're in the sweet spot. But, yeah, 20 degrees, that's, that's like, right in the big sweet spot for an excavator. You're hogging. That's, that's blowing and going. That's a good point, Jim. So we talked a little bit about bench loading. It is the most efficient way to load a truck with an excavator. And bench loading is when you're sitting well up above the ground and the trucks are sitting nice and nicely below the excavator and it gives the operator a very good view into the back of the truck as well as minimizes the amount that the machine has to travel from digging with the bucket to dumping into the truck and returning back. So when you're digging on a bench, there's some things that, you know, some basics that you want to try and follow. First and most importantly, the bench height should be equal to the length of the stick on the excavator, okay? So if you think about the length of a stick... Brian, does that include the bucket? Including the bucket. Nice, okay. Okay. Reasons for this, if you've got a bench that's too tall, you're going to be reaching way out too much. You can't keep the floor clean. You're going to be inefficient. There's just too much movement there. You want to keep it lower than that and make it tighter. If it's too short, then you're going to be having to lift way too high with the excavator and you're not going to be as efficient. If you keep it at the stick length level, you're going to come up and when you're when you're basically when you're getting your bucket to what is ground level for the excavator, you're pretty much at the truck height and you can dump into the truck. So you're not really lifting above ground per se. So it's much more efficient uh, a way to load. Secondly, when you're on a bench and you're loading, you want to try and turn the undercarriage of the excavator about 20 to 30 degrees. And this will help provide you with a much more stable platform. It kind of widens out the bottom for you. When you're loading, when you're swinging, when you're dumping the bucket, you're going to be a lot more stable sitting up on that bench. 
Again, minimize the amount of swing. Position your trucks so that your load to dump is 45 degrees or less. Keep the trucks in tight. Now there's a couple of different ways to load from a bench. Uh, one of them that, that we commonly refer to is called through the gate loading. And this is a great way to, uh, to load trucks, very efficient, especially when you have a lot of room and you have a constant flow of trucks available. So when the trucks are coming towards the machine, they're coming towards the excavator from the front and approaching from the left side of the excavator. So the operators can see each other, they can have eye contact, they can communicate. And then what the, what the truck driver is going to do is pull just past the excavator until the excavator operator stops him, puts him in the position he wants, and then he's able to load the truck over the back of the truck through the tailgate. And it's a very efficient way to uh, place the material into the box. Another way when things get tighter, when you don't have as much room, is loading the truck over the rail. Okay, And that's when you basically back the truck into the excavator, Get them in nice and tight again. Try and keep your swing low. And this gym is where you can go 20 degrees or less because you can br bring that truck right in tight to the excavator and you're going to come up off the floor with a full bucket right in over the side of the rail of the truck and dump it into the box. Always remember, guys, load the trucks from the front to the back. Sounds simple, but if you load from the back to the front, it's a lot harder. Start at the front, work your way to the back. It's a lot easier way to place material into the bed. Another tip might be when you get those great big nuggets, uh, don't put them in first. Yeah. Put a, little, put a little bit of material in the bottom of the box and cushion the truck before you drop that big rock in and shake the operator. Just oh be a nice God. guy. <laughs> Unless, of course, the operator deserves it and needs to be woken up. And then uh, use your best judgment. But guys, one of the, one of the uh, other tips that we can talk about is, you know, you got to get everybody working on a job site on the same page. The excavator operator is the conductor, okay? And everybody else is part of the team. So a great way to get everybody on the same page is doing your morning shift tailgate talk. Get everybody around, talk about the job site plan, how you're going to attack the cut, how you want those trucks coming into the excavator, how you want the material to be flowing. It's a great way to make sure everyone's on the same page, make your job site run efficiently, put more money in your pocket, and you know what? Just have yourself a safe operation and a good way to move dirt. So guys, that's some best practices when loading trucks. Uh, tune in again and we'll have some more tips for you. Thank you.